This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me right now is Luis Merchant. He is the president and CEO of Flora Growth Corp. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is FLGC on NASDAQ. And you can actually see Luis give an investor presentation at the upcoming SNN Network Summer Virtual Event, which is happening August 17 through 19. To register and hear his presentation, please go to conference.snn.network. With that, Luis, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Robert, thank you for having me. Doing great. It's great to have you. So this is our first time doing an interview together. So as is tradition here, you know, I'd, I'd love to start off with a quick overview and history of the company. Of course, uh, Flora Growth Corp was a company founded in 2019. We founded the company under the premise of growing the lowest production cost, all natural organic cannabis in the world. And, and we have accomplished just that in, in, in a short three years of time. But at the same time, we have also developed a very robust portfolio of brands and products that resonate with consumers today. Very good. So, you know, I, I want to dig into that history because, hey, quite frankly, it's not that long, right? I mean, <laughs> less than three years, you've gotten to where you're at today. So how, you know, how, how did you get this infrastructure and everything in place and ready to go in this short amount of time? Well, it, it always, as, as with every great company, Robert, it all starts with great people. So the, our priority from, early, from the start of the company and the inception from the founders was to put together a team of executives that were experts in each one of the regulatory matters, uh, finance, distribution, and, and et cetera, to ensure that we could build a powerful global cannabis company in a short amount of time. And you're absolutely right. We have moved at a at light speed compared to other companies in the industry and just other companies in general. Uh, in 2020, we completed a $30 million uh, pre-equity raise uh, through a Reg A plus offering. Uh, that offering was, was maxed out in October of 2020. We had closed it by, by December. But because of the, how rapid the investor community responded to, our, to our, our project and our company, we decided to immediately take the company public through, uh, through our NASDAQ direct IPO listing, a milestone that we achieved on May 11th of 2021. Very good. Well, congratulations. That's no easy feat getting on NASDAQ. So that's a huge deal. Um, all right. So let's dig into the business a little bit. What, what would you say makes Flora Growth unique and different compared to some of your peers out there? Well, a number of reasons. Uh, obviously, the majority of cannabis companies today are playing on a regional level, uh, whether it's in the United States, you're looking at state operators or MSO in some cases, but they're very, they're playing within the boundaries of, of their specific regulations in terms of geography, geographies, municipalities or states. That applies also to, to North American companies in, in Canada. Uh, Flora Growth was founded on the, on the, the idea that cannabis is going to become a global marketplace. And in order for you to complete on a global market base, you need to grow cannabis in the best possible geographic conditions in the world. And that's why we selected Colombia. Uh, and in Colombia, there's many places in which you can go, uh, but we selected the best location within Colombia where we're growing at all outdoor cannabis at six cents per gram of dry flour. When you compare that to North American cultivators, uh, they are at, at uh, over a dollar and 25 cents per gram of dry flour. So clearly that is going to separate us in terms of the global marketplace. The second advantage is that we, we knew wow. margins behave differently at all portions of the supply chain. And that's why it was so important to us to develop portfolios of brands and products across multiple industries in which cannabis is going to create a disruption to ensure that we took advantage of the margins, but also that we, uh, that we had close contact to consumers and patients worldwide. Well, the majority of the, of the cultivation that happens in North America happens under very controlled and strict conditions, especially greenhouses. And greenhouses uh, have uh, a large overhead. Um, on, but there's a number of other, of, of other variables that impact our production cost. Uh, agricultural skilled labor in Colombia is nine times more cost effective than, than North America. And the geographical conditions are far more optimal. It's an, it's a, Colombia is located alongside the equator, which means we don't have seasons and we can achieve up to five cultivation cycles per year. Currently, we're at, at around 3.3, 3.4 cycles, continue to, to optimize. And then, of course, all the other geographic conditions, like the, the nutrients that are in the soil, the constant winds of three miles per hour, all of these contribute to uh, low cost production cost with exceptional quality. 
Very good. Thank you for that. I, 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 I really appreciate that overview and, and why, why, the, why it's like that. So, okay. So I have to ask, what's your background? I mean, how did you come into all this? Well, Robert, I am a dual citizen for, uh, from both Colombia and, and the United States. So I, I am perfectly positioned to, to deal with, uh, with the international component of this organization. The company was founded in Canada. Most of their operations, the operations are in Colombia. And of course, our primary objective target market is the United States. I am right in between uh, when it comes to, to my background. But uh, I've been in retail and CPG over the last 20 years. Uh, in the United States, and I've worked for companies like Target and Macy's, the latest which I had uh, many influential roles, like run, running the beauty organization, the sales beauty organization for, for the company nationwide, responsible for 10,000 beauty advisors and $3.6 billion in revenue. Um, and I also had other roles like uh, uh, managing customer experience, as well as the allocation of human capital across the entire company with a two, over two and a half billion dollar payroll uh, PNL line. And Luis, from, from what you can tell me before I let you go here today, you know, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now moving forward? Um, well, I would say that we have, we have been able, clearly a um, um, uh, competitive advantage that our company has is the, the lowest production cost in the world, or one of the lowest production costs in the world, as well as a very robust portfolio of brands and products. Uh, but I, I would say if I had to highlight two other advantages that my company has over many others in the industry, we have an exceptional leadership team. All, all the way from, from our governance and standpoint in our board of directors, we, our chairman is Bernie Wilson, who's a, a former vice chairman of PricewaterhouseCoopers, to one of the, the advisors of the company in Colombia, who's the author of the cannabis law in Juan Manuel Galan to, of course, the, the many um, agricultural workers that are working on our fields, incredible people that are doing an exceptional job. But we're also executing on a global scale, our m and strategy. We have closed or signaled our intention to close a number of transactions over the last several months, like Hoshi, which has assets in Portugal and Malta, which will allow us to enter into the European Union, as well as HiMed, which is a largest, uh, one of the largest distribution, uh, distribution companies of natural hemp products out of Switzerland, or the recently announced vessel transaction, which is one of the industry leading, leading manufacturers of, of uh, delivery methods such as vape, uh, vape devices in the United States. We will continue to inform that m and strategy and make Flora Growth the global company that it deserves to be. Very good. Well, Luis, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Flora Growth? Well, of course, you can go to uh, www.floragrowth.com. Uh, you can follow our, our handles on LinkedIn and Twitter that with Flora Growth. And of course, our ticker LFLGC under NASDAQ. Um, we're a NASDAQ list, listed company. And of course, we're very proud of that. Very good. Luis, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. You do the same, Robert. Thanks for having me.